So this is how you create a job in an NX100 controller. Um, first things first, everything is going to be found in the job menu. And if you have pre-selected jobs, you can hit job select and this will show you all the jobs that you have. Basically in last job that you um, created order. Okay. So if you wanted to create a job, all you got to do is hit select job and hit create job. See that create new job right there, third one down. Create new job. And it's going to give you a job name. I think the, there's some rules for naming. I think the big one is you can't start it with a number. But otherwise, a keyboard, if you hit select or click on it, you can type in a job. So job Dan. Enter. And if you want to give it a comment what it is, you can say what it is, what group set it is, and the job type. It's a robot job. So that's only, you know, concurrent, you know, there's different things that you can do. The current job is probably a non-motion job or non-motion group. Okay? I can give it a comment saying teaching. And all I'm doing is hitting the select button. So if I hit hit enter, it'll show up. But if I go here and hit select, you can see I can then rename it. Okay? So now, once that's done, all you have to do is hit execute. And what will show up at first is an NLP and end. Everything in your job needs to come between the NLP and end. Okay? And how Moto Man places job information is, is it's always going to place below the cursor. So if you try, if you have the cursor here and try to pl thinking that you're going to place it in between the NOP and end, it's going to give you an error because you technically can't place anything after the end. So wherever you want to put your next line, you place it in the line above the line, the next, the line you want to insert. Okay, it'll make more sense in a second. But if I want to create a job, first things first, I create my job. And then whatever is in this line here will be inserted if I press enter. And now if I want to change this before I select anything, I can hit motion type. If I scroll up to see if it will, see if it was. So if I hit mo this button here, every time, just that by itself, it will go through the different motion types, as you can see. I'm going to do a move J. That's a joint motion. Basically, it's going to move the, move things as fast as possible. And if I want to insert that right here, all I have to do is servo on ready. Well, let me undo the e-stop. So you can see that was there. Servo's on ready. And if I try to do it without the dead man engaged, look what happens. It's going to give you an error. Because remember, when I engage the dead man, that turns on the servos and drops the brakes. And remember, if, if you drop the dead man, the robot position shifts a little bit. So whenever you're installing jobs, you have to, uh, and put it in install, installing motions, you have to make sure the servos are on. All you gotta do is hit clear, because that's an, uh, just a, an error. And now I engage my servos, hit enter, and now that has been added, just like that. One thing you'll notice is, is if I move my cursor, um, nah, maybe I'll show you the next job. So that's how you add the position. But that doesn't give me, okay, I just added some random line of code. Well, what does that mean? When I, record, when I do a job, first I need to jog the robot to the position I want. Once I get it to the position I want, then you record. And as you can see right now, we'll see if I can fix this up. The robot is in a general like safety position above me, kind of like a home position. So let me get this thing back connected. It's holding this for me, so just humor me. And so now, I will, I'm just going to jog it a little bit. Sorry, I had the lighting good. And so now, 
if I, I will jog the robot a little bit. I'm just going to kind of move it a little bit in one direction. I'm in the rectangular system, so it should be there. But now look what happens to the cursor. The cursor is blinking. That means it's not at that command position anymore. Sorry, I'm trying to get the glare out there. That's better. It's not at that command position anymore. So if I were to, when I record the next point, you'll see that it's solid. So now I'm at the next position I want to record, and then I just hit the enter button right here. And as I hit the enter button, it places the next line in. Okay? And notice it's not so, it's now a solid line. If I go up to the last point, it's blinking. And now I can just again move the job, move the robot again. So I'm moving the robot again. And I'll move it like this so I can demonstrate. And now I will hit enter. And that position is now recorded. So it's a three, a simple three. So you might say, well, I want to reuse a point. Well, that's fairly simple. All I have to do is move my robot to that point and then just re-record it down below. Okay? So let's show you what this looks like. So let's show you what this looks like. It's going to be hard because I really need two hands. But um, here's the robot here, and here's the, here's the position. And now, let me see, how do I? So now, if I hit, uh, hit forward, it's going to go through my jobs, and I'll probably just try to keep it down here. Oh, that didn't think this through. So, but to advance the, this through, you need to just hit the forward key here to get to your jobs. So, so now, check this out, let's see if this, and it's going to the different jobs. I'm hitting backwards, and it's going to my different positions. So if I go through forward, forward, you can see how it goes through the jobs. And I hope that turned out well. We'll see it on re replay. Um, but yes, yeah, it's just that simple to, to create a job. So move the job to the position you want, find the motion type you want, and hit enter. We're using move J's because they're the fastest. Now, this thing behind it, this uh, VJ7.70, uh, that is a speed, and that is a percentage of maximum speed. All right? If I wanted to change that in the, my, if I want to change that before my next position, so let me move this. If I want to change that to my next position, all I have to do is hit, hit select. And I can basically go in here and just manually enter in numbers to fix that. or hit select again, and then I can put to 45, for instance. Hit enter, and then it won't let me record because servos aren't on, but that's how you would change the speed. And so now if I want to record this, I'll turn the servos on, and I will hit enter. See, this would be helpful if everything, if, I, if they had a right hand dead man, but they don't. So let me, and now it's recorded. And now that will stay that way until I change it again. So that's a nice thing about Moto Man. Um, so if I want to jog this a little bit. So now it's out, I hit enter again, and it records the next point underneath. That's how you create jobs in, in a Moto Man X100. Excuse me, next time I will have a second set of hands with me to record some of this.